हेलो गाइस अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू आवर डॉट प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज कोर्स आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन सो आवर चैप्टर 4 हैज बीन कंप्लीटेड नो इन टुडेस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व आवर प्रैक्टिस एक्सरसाइज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज क्रिएट अ लिस्ट ऑफ नेम्स एंड प्रिंट ऑल नेम्स यूजिंग लिस्ट लेट मी ओपन वीएस कोड एंड शो यू प्रैक्टिकली दिस इज वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन वी जस्ट नीड टू क्रिएट a list of names a list type will be string name will be names and here we can store different names uh, for example let me add few names for now there are four names right we can simply print these names by using by using print function here let me test it here you can see the output this is very simple question you can solve easily next one is create a set of fruits and print all fruits using loop here we need to create a set set its type will be string because we need to store string values fruits so here we will store our values inside curly braces Uh, fruits for example mango apple banana now we will print all the fruits by using for loop let me show you for var item in fruits and here uh, we can print one by one item you all know how to use for loop here you can see the output this is the solution next one is create a program that reads list of expenses amount using user input and print total now uh, let me show you first of all uh, we need to create a list of uh, expenses that will be empty a uh, list of uh, numbers for example list of numbers expenses right for now it will be empty now we will fill this list by using for loop for example uh, we want to add five expenses total five expenses into the list and then we will calculate their total let me show you we will use here for loop int i is equal to 1 we will start our loop from 1 to 5 i less than equal to 5 and i plus plus our loop will work five times from 1 to 5 now each time we need to get input from user in order to get input uh, we need to import a package or library import dot io dot io right and this is the library you can say it library or package and here we need to get input from user for this we need std in dot read line sync and here like this before this we can show a message to the user uh, print enter expense here we can show expense 1 2 3 by using dollar sign i dollar sign i like this so this line will give us input as an string null able string so here uh, we will store our value into into null able string it will name as input here so kindly don't confuse with this question mark we have a complete chapter on null safety we will discuss it in more details for now just understand its means this variable is null able because this is a string we need to convert it into a number declare a new number uh, name it as for example expense and here we need to convert our string into number num dot parse and here we need to give input and here we need null check right otherwise it will show error so don't confuse with null safety we have a complete chapter on it after that we need to 
store this expense into expenses list right expenses list dot add and here we can add expense and then uh, after storing all the expenses into expenses list we can calculate the sum of all the expenses we can use same for loop for this purpose but we will calculate sum by using for each loop here let me show you expenses dot for each like this and here it will give all numbers one by one let me give it name as e right only e and here we need to create a new uh, variable num in order to store total in expenses its default value will be zero and here we will calculate sum of all the expenses by using total less is equal to e right it means total is equal to total less e sorry e like this so at the end we can print our total print total total like this now we need to run our program by using terminal right otherwise it will not work let me show you in terminal now we need to open the same directory where our dot file exist let me open Here it is showing enter expense first, expense 1. For example, expense 1 is 10,000. And now we need to enter second expense, for example, 33.99. And same like uh, others, we can use last one is 5. No, let me show you. No, it is showing, you can see it is showing total. This is the total. I hope you understand. Next one is create an empty list of type string called days. Use the add method to add names of 7 days and print all days. Let me show you. First of all, we need to create an empty list of type string. Name it as days. Now we will add all the uh, days one by one by using add method. Days dot add Sunday. Days dot add Monday. Days dot add Tuesday. Days dot add Wednesday days dot add Thursday days dot add Friday days dot add Saturday like this now we can simply print by using print function print days let me show you here you can see the output we can also print all the days by using loop we can choose for each loop days dot for each loop here we can simply use print function and and print all the items one by one like this here you can see next one is add your seven friend names to the list Use where to find a name that starts with alphabet A. Let me show you. We need to create a list. List of type string. Name it as friends. And here we need to add our friend's name. For example, Ali. Sitan. Tazir Zulfi 
इरफान आबिद एहसन नो दीज आर दी सेवन एलिमेंट्स नो वी नीड टू यूज वेयर फ्रेंड्स डॉट वेयर हेर वी नीड टू पास एनोनिमस फंक्शन स्ट्रिंग ई एंड वी नीड टू रिटर्न द कंडीशन वी नीड टू फिल्टर ऑल द फ्रेंड्स नेम दैट स्टार्ट विद ए लेट मी शो यू ई डॉट स्टार्ट विद हेर वी कैन यूज समॉल ए आर कैपिटल ए फॉर नो वी विल यूज कैपिटल ए एंड हेयर वी कैन कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू लिस्ट टू लिस्ट एंड वी कैन स्टोर दिस वैल्यू इन टू अ न्यू लिस्ट ऑफ स्ट्रिंग नेम इट एज रिजल्ट एंड देन वी कैन सिंपली प्रिंट दैट रिजल्ट नो इट विल शो ऑल द फ्रेंड्स दैट नेम स्टार्ट विद ए हेयर यू कैन सी इट इज प्रिंटिंग If we use here small a, it will return empty string because we don't have any value that start with small a, right? They all starts with capital A. That is why we use here capital A, right? So the main purpose is to use where. This is the way we can use where and filter our list by using any condition here. Next one is create a map with name, address, age, country keys. and store values to it update country name to other country and print all keys and values now let me create a map first of all we will create a map of type string string uh, name it as my map and here we can store our values first key is name here we can store name second one is address here we can store our address uh, abc address just for example next one is age right here if i add my age it will show error because here our value type is string we need to convert this into dynamic in order to store all the values and next one is country right country here we can store our country our next requirement is to change the country we need to change our country value we can update it like this map name and here a key name a key name is country and here we can store new country for example xyz country just for example and then we can print our whole map my map now it will show updated country value here you can see it is printing whole map if you see here country is updated so this is the way we can update our any value inside existing map the last one is create a map with name phone keys and store some values to it use where to find all keys that have length 4 let me create here we will create map string dynamic my map there are two keys name and phone phone for example this is a phone example now next requirement is to find all the keys to find all the keys inside that map that have length 4 let me show you here we will use my map dot keys right because we need to find keys here we can use where where inside where we can pass anonymous function string e and here here we will write our condition e dot length is equal to 4 this is the main condition and here we can convert this into a list and here we can store it into a new list name it as result here we can simply print result let me show you here you can see it is printing name 
it is printing only one key right because only one key satisfies our condition if you see name it has length 4 but phone has length greater than 4 that is why it is printing only name if we change our condition to greater than or equal to then it will print both keys here you can see this is the difference i hope you understand how to use fair so our chapter 4 has been completed if you have any confusion or any question in your mind you can ask in comment box or you can contact me directly on whatsapp okay good luck